Hey guys, so <laughs> I don't even want to go outside right now. Um, just because uh, rain, 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 rain. But I ranted about that enough yesterday. So, yeah, it's wet. So, it's a perfect day to go to the shop and scrap metal. And I, I talk about this a lot, and y'all may not know exactly what it is or whatever. But, let me get some light on me. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you this, that... Uh, I don't even know where to start. Scrapping metal, because I work in an automotive shop, so scrapping metal uh, actually helps uh, pay some of the bills. So if you think about it, it's like totally Halloween related, because if the bills are paid, then that's more money than I, that I can put towards Halloween. So, there you have it. And uh, when I say that I'm scrapping, it means I'm either going down to the scrap yard and unloading and getting some cash, or it means that... I'm going down to the shop and separating the metal. In other words, getting all the clean cast aluminum by itself and uh, blah, blah, blah. I, I, probably not too interested. So anyway, that's that. Um, crazy things are happening right now. This is really cool. Um, okay, I guess I'll start out by saying as far as uh, my channel now, I've got the video on autoplay. And I know sometimes when I go to other people's channels and the video starts to just play, sometimes it's kind of annoying. But I've also found myself going to some people's channels and they probably have really good stuff. But you kind of judge a book by its cover. You look at the video and it's like, uh, okay, and, 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 you, and you don't play it. So I, I've been getting a lot of channel views, um, but not so many videos. So that's the reason why I did that is so, oh, and when I go to other people's channels and the video starts to play, you know, I, I'll let it play for, you know, a little bit. And it's like, oh, okay. So you actually get interested in it because you're kind of forced to. <laughs> so anyway, that's the reason for that. Um, I was going to actually save this for tonight, but since I've got you all right here right now and I'm getting into this, then I'll go ahead and uh, do it now. And the reason why I keep looking over here is... Okay, this is like, over here, this is like the social media computer, and this one over here is like <laughs> the slow computer, uh, email, and uh, video is what I do on that one. Um, I could probably do everything on one computer if I had one that was updated and uh, didn't run uh, so slow. It almost reminds me of the uh, Commodore 64 days. <sighs> Dating myself, I know. So anyway, with the vlogs, um, the shout outs and everything, and I'm, I'm sure that if you guys have um, been to other people's sites or whatever, you've started to see me, you know, commenting on videos, um, you know, posting, and I'll usually always make a reference to, you know, my vlog or the car prop, and I don't want people to get tired of it, it's just, I want to get out there, um, you know, because that way I'll, I'll feel that I'm doing this for a good reason, and I really feel that I mean, crap, who else has a car that's going to move? I mean, really? So, I, I mean, I'm not getting a big head about it, but anyway, eh, I don't want this to ramble on either. So, here's my take on shoutouts. Number one, it kind of brings the audience in. You get a new subscriber, you know, give them a shout out. You know, as long as you're not getting a lot of subscribers. You know, right now, I can keep track of them later on, maybe not so much, because for some reason... YouTube does not do a good job, in my opinion, of emailing your email account when you get a new subscriber. So that's kind of it's going to be difficult to keep track. But you, you bring the audience in, you make them a part of what you do. Uh, that's why I love it when you guys comment. Um, like I said, I love it when you give the thumbs up on the videos, or uh, yeah, because you know I I love seeing the the stars when I go to work and check it on the cell phone. Um, but giving shout outs to other people that have other channels that are, are doing the same thing, it, it's kind of like sharing. So, you know, when people do this, go out and take a look at the other people's channels because you might be missing a lot of stuff that you're really interested in. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get myself out there. And uh, in the process, you know, we can all, you know, work together and whatever so I know I'm rambling so with that said 
I got my very first video vlog shout out by Hauntoween today. Um, so I wanted to say thank you very much. Very much appreciated. So if you guys haven't taken a look at his stuff, go take a look at his stuff too. Because we all do this. We all love it. It's entertainment. So it's all good. Anyway, so I guess that's, that's all I'll have to say about that. Um, so I'm going to go to the shop, scrap some metal, and catch you all here in a little bit. Well, so I made it outside. Um, two quick things. Number one, the heater last night that I put up, I didn't have much much propane or propane accessories. So I uh, so I didn't get a lot of time to uh, cure, but this window over here, the silicone on it, is drier than the one that I did not use it on over here. And here's the crazy part. The silicone that I did like four or five days ago, back there with the uh, uh, fog machine tube to the exhaust, it is still wet. So it looks like I'm going to have to go to the store and pick up a couple uh, things of propane, set the heaters up, get this stuff cured. Uh, even though the temperature outside is, uh, I'd guess like maybe 52, just guessing. But it's wet, it's damp, high humidity, and silicone's not gonna set. Okay, that was number one. Number two, um, I know that, uh, I believe it was Trips48 that asked me last year when I originally set up the, my YouTube account and everything, and I posted the uh, Halloween scare videos, he asked me what I used for the, uh, for the enclosure or whatever. Well, and I've talked about it before, this is the carport that I made out of, uh, actually it's uh, aluminized exhaust tubing. And so I went and cut everything, drilled the concrete, put bolts in upside down, used rockite, and uh, so theoretically, as far as like building inspectors go and everything, this is a portable unit because I didn't get a permit. Um, so yeah. And the plastic, how do you attach plastic to metal? Ah, very easy. I figured this out last year that you take slat boards like these, you tape them, and then you take a couple uh, staples to set the plastic. And then after you've set the plastic, you run a strip of black duct tape over it, and then you staple it down. And that gives it, so it's not going to rip out if you get a little bit of wind. But to seal it from water also, you take another strip of uh, duct tape over your staples so it's not going to leak. So that's basically how I do the whole enclosure. And that's why, like this pole here in the haunt, it was an exposed pole. And that's why it was it's painted black. But you can also see, this right here is the tape from where I taped the uh, wood slats that were on the outside. Uh, for the the side plastic so I would really like to get away from using plastic because number one it's a huge throwaway I don't like I'm an environmentalist kind of so I don't like throwing away stuff and just putting it in a landfill that never goes away so this year maybe depending upon budget I'd like to get uh, actual plywood walls and that way I can save them use them year after year so we'll see how that goes Anyway, braving the rain, going down to the shop. Whew. It's too early to be getting my second wind, but here I go. All right, so I'm at the shop and I just figured that I'd let y'all know, uh, you know, kind of what it is that I do here, not on a daily basis, but on like pretty much my Sundays. Um, so yeah, so I've still got a uh, GM transmission to do and a Volkswagen transmission to do. But I'm not going to do them today because it takes a long time to uh, bust all this stuff up. But I do have this uh, aluminum block Honda engine and basically all I do is take all the metal off of it. Um, all the clean cast aluminum goes in one bin. And the last time I checked uh, prices, oh I got a cylinder head over here that is fairly intense to uh, take everything out of. Valve stem, valve seals, valve guides, valves, 
um, anything that's not aluminum. Uh, but the last time that I checked, clean cast aluminum was up to 60 cents a pound, and iron, steel, whatever, everything in the back here was up to six cents a pound. So, I don't know, it's all about uh, making it happen and uh, keeping the bills paid so I can do some Halloween stuff, more Halloween stuff. Ooh, Halloween, excellent. Oh yeah, uh, I checked the, uh, the the comments on the vlog, so uh, somebody guessed the right answer to the movie trivia question yesterday, so I'll cover that later. Um, I've also gotten a few more subscribers, so that's really cool. Um, so I'll cover, co cover, I will cover all of that when I get home. All right, so what's going on right now? And I don't know why I've been doing that. I just like to focus on something and pull it away. Anyway, uh, something really awesome is going on right now. Totally flipping cool. Um, the Apocalypse 13th, who was one of my original subscribers, like when I first put all my videos back online um, last, I want to say it was like January when I started, something like that. Uh, him and I have been talking back and forth, and he has done a graphic because I, I told him that you know basically my artistic ability graphics or otherwise is like stick figures and a ruler and a compass so yeah no talent here uh, anyway uh, he just got through um, doing uh, what could be uh, the t-shirt print so I've actually uh, went to uh, walgreens.com uploaded it and it should be printing right now so I'm gonna go out and grab that so to see how it'll look That'll be really cool. Got to stop by um, Wally World real quick because I got to get some more propane for the prop car. So hopefully I can make that damn silicone dry. It's driving me nuts. So anyway, uh, that's what's uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'll come back to you in a little while, and uh, we shall see uh, what I have uh, accomplished. Don't ask. It's just a voice. Alright guys, so I'm at Walgreens right now, and I'm picking up the uh, photo that um, that uh, was made for me, and now I want to see it, because I told her I didn't want to see it until I got outside so I could get my reaction, so I can kind of see it. Oh wow. That's cool. That is awesome. So what do you guys think? T-shirt quality? Yes. That is so cool. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so I just got through uh, coming back in from outside. It is still wet. It is still raining. Ugh. So, anyway, um, got a couple things to cover. Wrap this up tonight. Um, first, I want to do the shout-outs. I would love to say thank you very much to Classic Halloween, 2020 Favorites, and Mr. Ambidex1. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, I do really appreciate it. And some people actually tell me that I'm, I'm, well, they have, none of you guys have told me that, but, you know, people tell me I'm too appreciative. And it's like, shut up. It's like, no, I just want to say thank you because I really do appreciate it. So... Um, and I would also love to, uh, to uh, I don't stutter, really I don't. I would love to thank the Apocalypse, ap <laughs> Apocalypse 13th. Whew. See, I don't stutter, really I don't. Because I, I will have you guys take another look at this. And I would like to know if you guys would think that this would look like banging awesome on a t-shirt. I mean, seriously, this is like... <sighs> This is like so cool. <laughs> so I, I, I still can't get over it. Basically what he did is he took my uh, the skull that I used. And this is actually, uh, the skull is an actual picture of my skull fountain. Um, if you go on the website, you can uh, check the link to see how to build it. But yeah, so I'm like, uh, I'm just like, I don't know, in awe. So, the movie question of the week. The Bloodshed Brothers got it. The question is, who got it, Zach or Jeremy? I don't know that part. So anyway, congratulations, guys. Um, and with uh, the movie question of the week, what I'm going to start doing is, I wanna, um, if you watched the vlog a couple or last week, I'm going to start keeping track. 
of points and originally I was calling them cool points because I had no idea what to call them and that's just what came out. So I'm going to start calling them hell points because it just makes sense. So if we take, oh you can't see that, that's one for next week. <laughs> um, so basically what I'm doing, the Apocalypse 13th and the Bloodshed Brothers are both tied at five points apiece. So once I get the t-shirts made, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do is uh, send out a, a t-shirt. Um, so I, I don't know if this, how long this contest is going to go, probably a couple months. Uh, so you know, that'll give other people that are new <laughs> kind of an advantage, or a dis not a disadvantage because there's only going to be one question a week. So uh, whoever would have the most points by the time I get the t-shirts made and ready, then I'll send you one out and maybe some other stuff. I don't know. It just depends. I'll send you a business card. How's that? Yay. Um, so I've covered the videos. Um, oh, yeah. I promised you guys I'd, I'd do my, uh, my impression. So go to the bottom of the screen and click the link on... Uh, on Beetlejuice's uh, thing, that that's the clip of, uh, well actually it's a little longer, but of what he says and what I'm about ready to do. Um, I will also say that the impression that I do is right after Beetlejuice is asked, um, what are your qualifications? So with no further ado, <laughs> kind of embarrassed, but anyway, oh yeah, and I was a little tipsy this night too, you can probably tell. Anyway, check it out, here it is. All right, so here's my impression of Beetlejuice. <laughs> oh, well, I attended Juilliard. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I've lived through the Black Plague and I had a pretty good time during that. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. Not to mention the fact that you're talking to a dead guy. Now, what do you think? Do you think I'm qualified? All right, so tell me what you thought. Anyway, um, so uh, one last thing to say, I did go and get uh, more propane for the heaters and I've got one out on the prop car right now stationed underneath the window, so hopefully I can dry that silicone. That's all I have for y'all tonight. We will catch you tomorrow. Happy haunting and um, hasta mañana. <laughs>